Hey, I'm Dave Fuss with Duke & Winery out of Rose Hill, North Carolina. Many, many years ago, my granddad got talked into growing muscadine grapes for Canandaigua Wine Company, which is now Constellation Brands, with a promise of $350 per ton for native muscadine grapes. And of course, after four years of letting these little vines fully mature, the price dropped to $150 a ton, so we were stuck with 20 acres of grapes. So he cleared out the back end of my, gran my grandfather's general store and started stomping grapes and licking labels. And of course, it didn't sit very well with my grandmother. She said, the girls in Sunday school have said you've opened a factory of liquid sin, and I ain't having it. We sell wine in about 17 different states. Today we grow 1,200 acres of sweet grapes, and we make about a million gallons of wine each and every year. You know, there are three different types of grapes, actually, that grow in the world. There's Vitus vinifera, then there's Vitus lambrusca grapes, and then down south we have Vitus rotundifolia grapes. Our grapes were growing in the trees when the settlers first settled in North Carolina, and it reminded them a lot of the muscat grape, which is from Europe because it's sweet and fruity, tastes just like you're biting into fresh grapes. And so they nicknamed our grapes after the muscat grape, and of course us southerners, we love to add the extra syllable to things, so muscat dine became the nickname for our native grapes. This is Black River Red, and Black River Red is made out of a very small, sweet, noble grape which is grown and we let it hang on the vine to the very end of the season. The longer a grape sits on the vine, the sweeter it gets. And then we cold press these, press them the day that the grapes are picked, cold press, cold ferment. So it, this cool fermentation helps us to uh, preserve all the good natural fruit that the grower brought us or the grapes brought us. And uh, it's very sweet and fruity, but fresh and lively. Tastes just like you're biting into a fresh grape. Our winery in North Myrtle Beach uh, gives us a great opportunity to sell our store and hug a lot of necks. And of course, uh, we get the opportunity too of meeting a lot of folks from here in Ohio, Kentucky, Pennsylvania, this area. A lot of people love vacationing down in North Myrtle Beach. And if anybody's watching this, we'd love to have them come down and let them share a little bit of our, uh, the sweet taste of the South with them.